This is Dominique's Sunstone Lightning. She sent us this really interesting piece of Oregon Sunstone Rough with these great striations on the surface here. In many materials, someone might mistake these as an indication of cleavage planes or growth lines. Here's another view on the longer axis of the stone. These aren't cleavage planes or growth lines. In this piece of material, we happen to know they are polysynthetic twins. This is a characteristic that Oregon Sunstone shares with Sapphire. Here's a view of the twins and the lines wrapping around the end of the stone. Let's have a look at the pavilion in the initial cut. Now the pavilion with the girdle polished so we can see inside the stone. As we rotate the stone around, we'll be able to see the twinning lines from another angle and how they're oriented inside the stone. That's going to be important later. We look carefully as we rotate this, we'll see something that looks like a Venetian blind effect here. That's going to come into play and it's going to play very interestingly with the lightning design that we've chosen to display it when the stone faces up. Face up, we can see those twins refracting light as it moves from one twin to the other, here. It creates a beautiful and unique rainbow effect. It won't be the same in any other piece of material. This is the unique fingerprint and personality of this specific gemstone. I always like to find this effect in any Oregon sunstone that I can. It's exciting to cut and it's exciting to look at you wind up with a really fascinating one-of-a-kind gemstone. I hope you've enjoyed the journey of Dominique's Sunstone Lightning. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.